Hi guys, Lee from UK and Covered. Um, coming over to our barn today for a little bit of a wonder. Plus, a few people have asked us if we'd come. There's Darren who's come with me today, one of our nearest recruits. Obviously, there's no access into the tower, there's a, a massive padlock on it. Anyway, let's turn to landscape quick. Yeah, this is the land around, anyway. This is RF Barnum, bomb dump. Uh, I think it's been abandoned or turned into an industrial estate since about the 1960s. It's quite well maintained. You've got the old lampposts here as well, which have been obviously disconnected throughout the years. There. There is a roughly about four towers around the surrounding areas. You're a boy, you know, my ugly voice. <laughs> as far as I know, this does also go in the ground from what I've seen on pictures of previous people that have been here. And there's also a, memo a page dedicated to it, which I checked out earlier to obtain permission to come. Obviously, being what it is and businesses on the area. They don't all there, secrets revealed. If there is any. <sighs> Got a little rubble here. Another tower over there. Got a... Towers scattered everywhere, really. That's the actual bomb dump site. You can see the huts over there in the foreground. <coughs> There's also air hoists and things down there, a little bit further. Which I shall show you, but we'll have a little wander down here. Let's see if we can bump into the other tower. The one we've just been to is one of four. I believe it's one of four anyway. The sad thing is, you can't get into them from a look. That one's possibly outside of the perimeter fence in a distance, which you can see. The old wall, concrete slating. It's a lovely countryside here. I did see a deer when you first walked in here. He's a cheap. <laughs> you got a lovely occasional joke, eh? <laughs> Another lamppost there with climber bracket, but the other ones had more of a curve to them, didn't they? Mm. I do apologise if my voice is boring you, but it's tough you're watching it. <laughs> Unfortunately, that one is outside of the perimeter fence, so I can't show you the stairs of it. But it might be exciting. Oh, I might be able to do it. Where's the tower anyway, guys? That one is. 123. Oh, no, it's the same. Oh, you can go up a little bit. Yeah, again padlocked up. Just take you to it a little bit. Let's see if we can't go inside it. It's padlocked. But, um, here's the tower. Now, I don't know what they were feeding the RAF and the USAF in the days, but by Christ, look how thin this ladder is. <laughs> My lord. One handed climbing skills, eh? I've done this a few minutes, too many times. Yeah. Up on the first run, nice view of the landscape from just being on the first run, really. That's going up. Oh, that's a big old bit of land, isn't it? Hmm. You got room in your pocket or anything to hold that, mate? Yeah, one sec. Just had that repaired because it dropped <laughs> and sort of met its doom on the aperture ring. Oh, aren't you people unlucky getting to see my butt climbing, eh? <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to bother up any further. Uh, it's got a padlock on it, quite a big old key slot as well. But you can see the general idea of how thin the ladders are. 
bit of a view of the landscape from the second run. Perimeter fence. Some nice reflection picture there as well, yeah, the tower. There's Darren. <laughs> Some of this wire looks like it's been recently changed as well. There's treasures on the tower on this line. Birds in the foreground there. Might be able to zoom in enough just to get a bit of a, a glimpse on it. For the birdie lovers. Anyway, five minutes, nearly six minutes into this video. I'm sure by now you're fed up of hearing my guns rattle. So I'm going to cut the video off and I'll continue when we get to the actual dumping area and some of the buildings. Catch you guys in a little while. Bye bye.